Diagram 7.1 shows the germination of bean seed in the soil. A. Auxin is a plant hormone. Based on the diagram 7.1, explain how the auxin causes the response of the root. Based on diagram, roots grow downwards. This is because auxins are produced at the root tips. Most auxins will diffuse into the lower part of roots due to pull of gravity. So, high concentration of auxins at lower part and low concentration of auxins at the upper part of roots. This will stimulate elongation of root at the upper part, causing the growth rate at the upper part is the higher than the lower part. As a result, root will bend downward and shows positive geotropism. Diagram 7.2 and 7.3 show the usage of synthetic plant hormones R and S to increase crop yields. Based on diagram, explain how hormone R and S used in agriculture. First, we can identify that hormone R is used for flower, while hormone S is for fruit. Hormone R can be identified as auxin that will be sprayed to the unfertilized flower that have not been pollinated. It then will stimulate the seedless fruit and development of embryo without fertilization. The technique is parthenocarpy. Next, we can identify hormone S as ethylene. By using ethylene, it can stimulate the production of cellulose in cell wall. Prison of cellulose will hydrolyze cellulose in cell wall that can speed up the ripening of fruits. Ethylene also promotes breakdown of complex carbohydrate into simple sugar causing the fruit taste sweeter. Diagram 7.4 shows a blood glucose test of individual X and Y by using glucose meter. Table 2 shows the reading of the glucose meter. The doctor suggests individual Y to take an injection of hormone M every day. If he experiences adverse symptoms such as frequent sweating and increased heartbeat rate, his doctor advises him to drink solution L and stop the injection of hormone M. Name the heart problem faced by individual Y and explain why he needs to take the injection of hormone M and drink solution L. First, we can identify the heart problem by observing the reading of glucose meter. The heart problem is diabetes mellitus because the glucose meter shows high reading of blood glucose level. This problem occurs because pancreas is unable to secrete insulin. The hormone M suggested by the doctor is insulin. Presence of insulin will stimulate the conversion of excess glucose in blood to glycogen, which is stored in muscle cell. It then will reduce blood glucose level to normal state. Why he should stop injecting the insulin when there are symptoms such as frequent sweating and increase in heartbeat is because the blood glucose level in blood is too low. It happens as a result in high concentration of insulin in blood glucose level because of the injection. Therefore, pancreas unable to secrete enough glucagon, resulting in glycogen that cannot be converted into glucose. The doctor would recommend solution K which is sugary drink. It will supply sugar that will diffuse into the blood glucose liver. So, the blood glucose liver increases and returns to normal.